Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the new topic that is the fractions. So before starting the topic, let me tell you one thing. There are two books like some of them have commented that uh, they have the revised one. So I have gone to the book, but I can see the questions, the exercises are the same. Only there is a slide extra questions given in the objective type questions so that I will try to upload from the new one as well but I will do it in this only and I, wherever possible I'll put the as a mentioning it that that is from the revised one so only the thing is they have added from the objective questions objective type questions they have added extra questions so don't be scared about that so you can follow the the same so now let me start directly you all have done the fractions you all know what is that and if that even i have got you can see my some of the videos of fractions for a detailed explanation and here i will give you wherever necessary i'll give you some extra information so now we'll start with the exercise 2.1 that is solved now you can see this the you know this is a numerator and this is the denominator so always because this whenever you have plus or minus sign in between this one you should always look at the denominator so now you can see the denominator is the same that is called the like fraction this one this is the like one means both are the same so the lcm is going to be seven so you are just going to add the numerator two plus six that is going to be eight by seven so now you can see the numerator is bigger than the denominator so this is the improper fraction. So you have to, whenever you have an improper fraction, just try to make it to mixed fraction. That is eight, you are going to divide it by seven. So seven one is seven. So this will be one. So that will be one integer, one by seven. So now you can see here, the denominators are different. So when you take the LCM of five and 15, I'll just show you one, you know how to take the LCM. So this is going to be three, this will stay as it is 3 5 is a 15 and 5 ones are 5 ones are so this will be 3 whatever the factors you get here on this side they are 3 and 5 that will be 15 so we can write this one as we are going to multiply the denominator by 3 so this also should be multiplied by 3 this will be as it is you don't have to write that one that is understood so this will be 9 by 15 minus 8 by 15. So this will be 9 minus 8 by 15. That will be 1 by 15. Again, here what we can see, just this is a whole number. Means That means there is a, in the denominator, we have 1. So this is very easy. So the LCM is going to be 7. So you are going to multiply this by 7. So this also should be multiplied by 7 minus 3 by 7. So that will be 28 minus 3 by 7. So that is going to be 25 by 7. So again, you are going to divide this 25 divided by 7. After dividing it, you get 3 integers, 4 by 7. This is a mixed one because this is an improper one. The numerator is bigger. Now this is a mixed fraction. So first thing, you have to make it to the improper one. So that is going to be 3 integers, 3 by 4 means you multiply this one. So that is going to be 4 threes are 12. So 12 plus 3 divided by this the denominator is 4 so that should be 15 by 4 so for this one 15 by 4 for this one that is going to be 10 10 plus 1 11 by 2 so now you can see the denominator is different so lcm is going to be 4 so this will be as it is here you are going to multiply by 2 so this will be 22 15 plus 22 by 4 so that is going to be 37 by 4 so that will be 9 integers 1 by 4 So here will be multiplied by 11, so plus 5 by 11. So this will be 99 plus 5 by 11. So this will be 104 by 11. So you can divide 104 by 11. So you get nine integers because this is a improper one. Nine integers, five by 11. Now this is mix. So this is going to be, you have to make it to improper. That will be 24 plus five, one. That is going to be 25 by three. And this is going to be 21 by eight. So the LCM is going to be 24. So this will be times eight. And this also should be multiplied by eight. And this year will be eight threes are 24. So this also should be multiplied by three. 
so this is going to be 200 minus 63 by 24 so 137 by 24 so now you can see again this numerator is bigger means that is the improper one so you have to divide so this is the next one five integers 17 by 24 again here you can see the denominator is different if you take the lcm of 4 and 5 you can see that is 20 so this should be multiplied by 5 so this also by multiplied by 5 this multiplied by 4 so this also should be multiplied by 4 so this will be 65 minus 64 by 20 so that will be 1 by 20 for this one we can write 35 35 plus 1 36 by 7 27 plus 1 28 by 9 so LCM of 7 and 9, that is going to be 63. So this will be by multiplied by 9, multiplied by 9, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 7 to make it to 63. So this will be 324 plus 196 by 63. This will be 520 divided by 63. Again, this number is bigger, so this is improper. So you have to make it to mixed fraction. So this is the answer. Here you can see three terms. So now you will take the LCM of 9, 2, and 6. So always go with the smaller number 2, 1s are, 2, 3s are. So this 9 will stay as it is. So now this doesn't go with 2. So 3, 3s are 9. This one will be as it is. And this will be 3, 1s are, 3, 3, 1s are. So that will be 3, 3s are 9, 9, 2s are 18. So 9 times 2. 2 times 9, 6 times 3. So this will be 16 plus 27 plus 15 by 18. So when you add this one, you get 58 by 18. So this is again improper one. So you have to make it to mixed fraction. So this is slightly different. Now you can, after making it to mixed fraction, what you can see? 3 integers 4 by 18. So now you can see that this 4 by 18, you can further simplify this one by 2. So this is going to be 2 by, sorry, this is 18. This will be 2 by 9. So hope you got this one. So answer will be 3 integers 2 by 9. For this one, 8. 8 plus 3 will be 11 by 4. 3, 3 plus 1, that is going to be 4. 15, 15 plus 2, that is going to be 17. Now you can see 4, 3, 5. When you take the LCM of this, that should be 60. You can, you can do it by this way. And check it so here you need multiplied by 15 here multiply by 20 and here multiply by 12 so this should be 165 80 204 divided by 60 so when you solve this one subtract and add it you get 289 by 60 again this is a improper one so you have to make it to mix so this is the answer here 14 means we can write 14 by 1, 12 plus 1, 13 by 4, minus 5 by 6. This will be 3 plus 1, 4 by 3. So when you take this one, so this is going to be, the LCM is going to be 12, so multiplied by 12, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, and multiplied by 4. So that will be 168 minus 39 minus 10 minus 16 by 12. So this is going to be 103 by 12. So the answer is 8 integers, 7 by 12. Arrange the following ascending order. So you know ascending means it is going to be from small to big. So now here you can see that denominators are different. So we'll take the LCM of that. So 2, 6, 3, and 10. There are four numbers. So always start with the smaller number. 2 ones are, 2 threes are. This 3 will stay as it is because it is not divisible by 3 and this is going to be 10. So again here, 2 5s are 10. This will stay as it is. Then it will go with 3, 3 1s are. And this will be 5 and 5 1s are. Here yeah, this all will be 1 and this will be. So 5 3s are 15, 15 2s are. 15 2s are. 30, sorry, there is some changes, 2, 6, 3, and 10, it should be 30, uh, 2, 1s are, 2, 3s are 6, this 3 will be as it is, and 2, 5s are, 
two files are ten. Sorry, yes. The LSM should be here. Now this is not divisible by two, so it will go with three. Three ones are three ones are, and this will be five. So now it will go with five. Yes, so that's done. So it will be five threes are fifteen, fifteen twos are thirty. So LCM should be thirty. So now you will take this one below the other if you write, or you can write it sideways also. But this this looks neat. And then what will you do? You have to make it to thirty. So two multiplied by fifteen will be thirty. So that will be fifteen by thirty. So your six multiplied by five is going to be thirty. So this will be five by thirty. Three times ten is going to be thirty. So this also should multiply by ten. So this will be ten by thirty, and this will be one by ten into three means ten threes are thirty. So multiply by three, that is going to be three by thirty. So now you know this is in the ascending order means we have to go from small to big. So this is one number because three is smaller than two, five, and your third, and this is going to be the fourth one. So for this one, the original is going to be what one by ten. So you will write a one by ten. For this second one, the original is going to be one by six. So you are going to write a one by six. Here for this one, one by three. So you will write a one by three. And for this one, that is going to be one by two. And then once this is written, that means you are going from small to big. But then this shows that whenever you know the we put the symbol here, that means. This the this mouth is open, so that goes to the bigger bigger side. You know the crocodile's mouth, that go that it's the bigger this one. So that means this symbol goes the mouth goes to the bigger side. So that means when you compare this and this, one by six is greater than this. When you compare this and this, that says that one by three is greater than one by six. When you compare this and this, that says that one by two is greater than one by three. And then later on the same thing. You are just going to put a comma. So this is the same thing, sir. Yeah. This is the final answer. Now you can see this is the simple because the denominator, everything is the same. So whenever the denominator is the same, means you have to just look at the numerator. You have to go from small to big. So which is the small one? Five, then seven, then eight, and then eleven. Same thing as I showed you. The symbol. This shows that this is the bigger number. Again, when you compare this and this, this is bigger. When you compare this and this, this is bigger. So, the final answer you are going to just not write the symbol. Just put a comma for all the same. Just in between that, that is going to be a comma. So this is the final answer. Now here they said arrange the following in descending order. Descending means big to small. D stands for down. Is the You will start from suppose you are standing ten, nine, eight, seven, and all from it goes. So this D stands for down. So now you are going to look at the denominator again. Your denominator is different, so you have to take the LCM of it. So you can just write like this, and the LCM is twelve. You can check with this one. By this way, the LCM is going to be twelve. So three, this three you are going to multiply by four. Again, this by four, that is going to be eight by twelve. Again, four, this you are going to multiply by three to make it to twelve. So this also three. So that is going to be nine by twelve. So this is going to be six by twelve, and this is going to be ten by twelve. So now descending means big to small. So which is the bigger number? So ten. So this will be one. Then Two, because we are going from big to small, and this is going to be the fourth one. So for this one, five by six, so you will write your five by six. Second number is three by four, you will write your three by four. Here this is two by three, you will write two by three, and this is one by two, you will write your one by two. But now we want from big to small means when you compare this and this, this number is bigger. When you compare this and this, this number is bigger. When you compare this and this, this number is bigger. So now the same thing is written here, but we are just going to put a commas in between. So this is the answer. Again, from here you can see the denominators are different, so you have to make take the LCM of it. So same thing is written here. So the denominator, this the LCM is thirty. 
So this should be multiplied by 3. So this is going to be 21 by 30. So now this 5, 6 are 30. So this also multiplied by 6. 18 by 30. 15 to the 30. This is going to be multiplied by 2. So that is going to be 16 by 30. This multiplied by 1 because this is already 30. So this will be 19 by 30. So which is the bigger number here we can see. That is 21. So this 1. Then 2. 3. And this is the fourth one. So for this 1 means 7 by 10 is here. 19 by 30. 3 by 5 and 8 by 15 so that says that now when you compare this and this this 7 by 10 is bigger comparing this and this 19 by 30 is bigger compare this and this 3 by 5 is bigger same thing written here but only the commas in between so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you